Hello there and a very warm welcome to Channels Beam. I am Victor Mathias. It seems the reign of terror by the dreaded Boko Haram group will soon come to an end. With the Nigerian government entering into negotiations, the Nigerian army bombarding their camps and with some of their members surrendering their arms. But while this has given hope to Nigerians, it seems it is not yet over as allegations are almost on a daily basis of attacks by Fulani herdsmen. And that's our focus on the program today. But before we begin, let's look at other trending topics in the social media world in the past week. This hashtag drew a heated debate between Nigerians as some tried to justify the alleged marriage of Emir Sanusi II to the 18-year-old daughter of the Lamido of Adamawa. While some were of the opinion that an 18-year-old shouldn't be married out, some argued otherwise. Muslim faithful who went to Mecca to perform the annual Hajj ritual outside of Mecca got what they least bargained for when almost a thousand of them, including Nigerians, died from a stampede. Well, that's how the cookie crumbled, but back to the focus of the day. We will be heading to our online studio to catch up with our online contributors, but you too can be part of them. Just tweet your thoughts at us using the hashtag Fulani Herdsmen. Well, the, uh, like on the plateau, we have the STF. Uh, the STFs are there, the police are there, and so on. Uh, to the best of my knowledge and ability, we only see checkpoints uh, in different areas over the years, and uh, you will see the security agencies. You will see their presence, but you will not feel part in trying to uh, to get these uh, situations uh, solved, uh, because you will see a checkpoint of a military by a junction, but inside the village, people are being killed impact their impacts are not felt but their presence have been their presence uh, on a daily basis but the impact seriously uh, there's that breach of trust between the security agencies and the communities because the community people have been killed but um, the security have not been able to condole such uh, killings I'm not from uh, the Middle Belt, but I'm a Nigerian, and um, I think this is a dangerous trend uh, for the country because if we ignore situations like this or, or events like this, it it could escalate and become something 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 that is beyond control in the future. Where I first came across this actually on social media, I never knew that uh, an event like this was, or issues like this, uh, was prominent in the Middle Belt. There have been reports of killings, of, um, of um, something that is being referred to as a genocide, you know. And uh, I, I think it's just, it's just a dangerous trend that should be nipped in the board before it escalates beyond this point. Killings have been going on in the North Central for a very long time. It's either for political reasons, for religious reasons, many things that affect the North Central. Minority tribes get wiped out for many reasons. So this, for the North Central people, it's a long, continual death. It's not that, you know, this is just beginning. No, it's for one reason or the other, and this is the latest reason. So for, for us, you know, throwing up these excuses, it's, it's a bit painful. We want the country to face this fair and square, and we are also particular about this time around, perpetrators being brought to justice. It's, it's, it is very clear that this should stop, number one, and perpetrators should be brought, brought to the law. We want to see at least one person ar arrested for what has happened in the North Central. When, when there are killings of this nature in any country, okay, it becomes a national issue. This is not an issue for just the middle belt, but it's a national issue, and um, the government should first and foremost carry out a detailed investigation into what is going on. The investigation should be open and they should let the people of those communities and the general Nigerian public to know that they have taken an interest in this matter and they want to resolve it. A proper 
investigation involving all the all the security teams, not just the army, the DSS should be involved and to find out why exactly this is going on. And uh, the, the, they should even go back to trace historical situations where it, it, you know people have been affected and lives taken. And then they should come up with an appropriate plan okay, to secure these communities. And the plan should also include a structure to resolve whatever challenges the Fulani headsmen may be facing. It's possible that for some reason or the other, uh, this this headsmen have challenges with their cattle and all, but that again is not the reason for genocide. That's not the reason for killing anybody. So I think the government can work and come up with a structure with the Ministry of Ag Agriculture to resolve whatever challenges the headsmen may be facing, while at the same time guaranteeing those communities security of their lives and their properties, because it is not. It, is, it, it doesn't make sense if you have military presence around the, um, a community at the junction and then people are still getting killed almost on a daily basis. All right, guys, let's just hold it there for a bit. We're going to take a quick break and when we return, we'll continue from where we stopped. Please join us again. <laughs> 